Welcome back to St. Pete, Florida, where we love exploring the very best food and drink spots the city has to offer. In our prior videos, we've shown you some of the best new spots and some of the best cheap spots in the downtown area. But in this video, we're focusing on the food specials. So stick around to see some of the best deals in all of downtown St. Pete. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's episode, we're gonna be searching for the best weeknight food specials in and around downtown St. Pete. For each night of the week, Monday through Friday, we're gonna be taking you to a different spot for food. And today is Monday, so we're gonna get this week started off at a nearby spot with a great Monday sandwich special. We'll see you there. Our search for the best Monday food special led us to First Avenue North. Here you'll find Thirsty First, an American style sports bar with a bit of a prohibition era feel. We found the place to be pretty empty, which seems pretty typical for downtown establishments on a Monday night. Visitors will soon find that Thirsty First does a food and drink special for every night of the week, with Mondays offering $5 press sandwiches plus a $3 beer special. After a quick look over the five sandwich options, I decided to go with the Chicken Witch, while Skylar went with the Cubano. The sandwiches were every bit as good as they looked, as we both soon found ourselves amazed with how delicious a $5 sandwich could be. On this visit, we both preferred our own order, but agreed that we'd gladly eat either of these sandwiches again. So we just left Thirsty First, and I gotta say, their Monday night special is legit. It really is. That Cuban I got had three really tender types of pork. It also had a really fresh bread. Overall, it was just really solid and one of the better Cubans I've had in St. Pete. And I ordered the Chicken Witch. It was a grilled chicken sandwich with provolone cheese, avocado, and some sort of delicious sauce. But really, to be able to get either of those sandwiches for $5 is a steal. Yeah, and if the sandwiches alone aren't enough, you can add a side of tots or fries for only two extra bucks. So Jamie and I both got a sandwich and we split a side of tots and that was plenty of food for the two of us. It really was. So that is it for us for today. We'll see you back here tomorrow for the Tuesday special. Hey guys, it is Tuesday in downtown St. Pete and pretty much every place in town that does tacos is doing a Taco Tuesday special tonight. But we actually plan on getting tacos later in the week. So today we're gonna show you a different special. Let's go check it out. Our Tuesday special led us to 661 Central Avenue North, where you'll find the Lure, an innovative bistro specializing in sushi, tapas, tacos, flatbreads, and custom cocktails. Upon entering the Lure, visitors will find an incredibly unique and comfortable atmosphere. The interior features beautiful brick walls, several of which are painted with unique and imaginative murals. We found several local beers on draft, and we enjoyed a Motorworks IPA while we decided on our food order. We were happy to find the half price flatbread special that we came for was still being advertised, and we quickly placed our orders for the Godfather and the Fig and the Pig. The flatbreads came out looking and smelling fantastic, and both were also a bit bigger than we expected. We soon realized that we had found another amazing special as both flatbreads exceeded what we'd expect to get at a place as nice as the lure for just six dollars. So we just left the lure and those flatbreads were amazing. Both of them used some unique ingredients and our favorite was the Godfather. It had shrimp, pesto, and also mushrooms on it and at $6 each, you can't really beat that price. Now tonight, we're not actually done yet because Skylar had the genius idea that if we only order one flatbread a piece, we might have enough room for some tacos. And I never say no to tacos, so we'll see you at the next place. <laughs> Time to 
taco lovers will find no shortage of great Taco Tuesday options in downtown St. Pete, and we have been fortunate to have tried a few of them. But on this day, we decided to try somewhere new, which led us just a few blocks east down Central Avenue to the Crafty Squirrel. Visitors will find the Crafty Squirrel to be a vibrant, high-energy pub serving up Australian-inspired teapot cocktails, a wide variety of beers, pizzas, and of course, tacos. And we decided not to choose between the three options and ordered one of each, along with a side of guacamole. We soon found ourselves wondering how we were going to find room to eat the three massive tacos. And for Skylar, it was with the help of a little hot sauce and a Corona. We did manage to eat all three tacos as well as the chips and guac and enjoyed every bit of it. While all three were excellent, we both agreed that the pork taco was the best and that the Crafty Squirrel would be one of our go-to spots for Taco Tuesday going forward. Hey guys, we're back. It's Wednesday and we have been excited for this day for a while now because tonight we have two great specials to take you to. So come along with us for some surf and turf. We decided to start off our Wednesday night surf and turf specials with the surf. This led us right back to Central Avenue for one of Skylar's favorite foods, oysters. Visitors to the Oyster Bar will find it to be more restaurant than bar, combining a cool, vibrant atmosphere with an extensive menu of seafood, meat, and poultry options and of course some great beers as well. But like so many others, we had come to the Oyster Bar for their famous oysters, and all day long on Wednesdays, you can get them for just a buck. We started the ordering off with two raw Gulf oysters because I think Skylar just wanted to see me eat one. Not sure about these. As expected, Skylar enjoyed his raw oyster. And while I can't say the same for myself, I did thoroughly enjoy what was to come next. That's weird. We followed the raw oysters up with eight steamed gulf oysters, which we couldn't wait to devour. The delicious steamed oysters lived up to the hype, and we did our best to savor them before heading off for part two of our Wednesday night specials. Much better. We just left the oyster bar, and the surf portion of the night was definitely a success. Now it's on to the turf. Part two of our Surf and Turf specials took us just a couple of blocks away to the galley and its Wednesday prime rib special. With a giant octopus mural on its front exterior, visitors to the galley will find it easy to spot from 4th Street. The galley's nautical theme continues once inside, where we were happy to find a special advertised for $5 select liquors, including Don Q rum. We enjoyed a Don Q and pineapple as we waited for our order of prime rib which arrived in just a few short minutes, along with a side of au jus, horseradish sauce, and a baked potato. I was clearly excited to eat some prime rib and it sure didn't disappoint. And on this visit, we discovered that the horseradish sauce is amazing, not only on the prime rib, but also on the baked potato. We just left the galley and a storm is rolling in, so we gotta get home before we get soaked. Overall though, that Wednesday night special was legit. I don't know where else in downtown St. Pete you can get a prime rib for $13.
So we'll see you back tomorrow for some Thursday specials. Hey everyone, it is Thursday night in St. Pete. The weekend is right around the corner, but I have to admit we had a bit of a hard time identifying Thursday night food specials. We ended up with two options, but one of them is for the ladies only. <laughs> Yeah, thankfully though, Jamie was kind enough to let me in on the special tonight. So that means we're actually heading back to a spot we visited earlier in the week. Now we've visited this place several times and have always had great experiences, but we have not yet had their wings. So come with us to try them out. Our love for good deals and chicken wings brought us back to Thirsty First, where we were happy to find it to be quite a bit busier than on our Monday visit. We quickly placed an order for three flavors of wings, which soon arrived along with a good amount of blue cheese and celery sticks. We found the wings to be average in size and cooked to a perfect crisp, and we were perhaps most impressed with our sauce selections which we found to be very unique and flavorful. Good too. Wow, you like that one. We just left Thirsty First after enjoying their half price wing special. We got 18 different wings with three types of sauces. And they were all good, but my favorite by far was the strawberry habanero. It had a really delicious, unique flavor and a lot of kick. Yeah, it had a little too much kick for me, but the flavor was really good. I would say my favorite sauce was the honey sriracha. Yeah, that one was really good too, but it could have used a little more spice. No, I don't agree with that. Oh, and we also need to mention the blue cheese. Their blue cheese is excellent. Now that I can agree with. Hey guys, it's Friday, we made it through the week, and it is time for our fifth and final weekday food special. And as you might expect, it's a little bit harder to find Friday night specials, but we do know of one, and we're really looking forward to it because it's at one of our favorite spots, so come with us to check it out. Our Friday food special took us a few blocks west down Central Avenue to the Grand Central District, a rapidly developing neighborhood located just west of downtown. Here you'll find The Burg, a locally owned and operated bar and grill serving up some of St. Pete's best burgers, Cubans, house-made chips, and a wide assortment of beers. Visitors to The Burg may find it to resemble a small, towny bar, but will soon find that it doesn't serve your typical quality bar food. We quickly scanned the menu for the fish taco special and were delighted when our order arrived along with a side of homemade chips. We found the tacos to consist of fresh corn tortillas stuffed with grilled mahi, avocado, and a tangy coleslaw. The tacos were fresh, delicious, and relatively healthy compared to your typical bar options making them a perfect way to kick off the weekend. We just left the Berg after having their Friday night fish taco special. And for just $11, we were able to get three mahi tacos plus their homemade chips, which we thought was a great deal. Yeah, and it just so happens that they also have a beer special on Fridays, but that is for another video. So if you're interested in drink specials during the week in St. Pete, that video will be coming out in a couple of weeks. Thanks for coming along with us on our search for the best weekly food specials around downtown St. Pete. Did we miss any of your favorite specials? If so, let us know in the comments. If you're interested in seeing more of St. Pete, the Gulf Beaches, or other Florida content, make sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching!